21 million barrels, 21 million barrels of oil flow through the Strait of Hormuz. If they were to try to cripple that, that would be a severe interruption to the flow of oil. That's what markets are worried about. If they were to bomb, just remember, it was only three, four weeks ago, they were bombing pipelines in Saudi Arabia from Aramco. Now, here's what I want to point out to you because it's awfully important that you understand this. Yes, we're concerned about oil. I mean, it could be a game changer for oil stocks and oil. Obviously, oil going up could be a game changer for your stock portfolio, but it's going to be temporary. And here's why I say that. There's little that could happen from this particular potential of interruption in the flow of oil that could be a game changer for an extended period of time. Why? Because remember... The OPEC nations alone have drastically, over the last two years, cut their productivity. They have cut their production drastically. The United States refiners have cut production, particularly in the area of fracking. Why do I say that? Because I don't want to say overnight, but very close to it. All, all of that could put production of oil back into play in a, in a heartbeat. So whatever is lost in an area, by the way, would little, it would have little impact on us here, or it should. It will because oil is a global market. And we will try to pick up or supply some of the shortfall around the world. It's the right thing to do to keep oil somewhat in balance. You know, but we have the resources. It's not going to be in a uh, situation like that. Nobody is better suited for maintaining reasonable pricing at the pumps and oil than we are in America. Now, that is not going to happen overnight. That's going to take um, a lot of adjustment and a total rebalancing of not just the global markets, but the markets here in the United States. So there could be some initial pain if, if any of the assumed targets of Iran could, uh, would be struck. We don't know that they're going to be. Okay, so we've got to keep that in mind. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.